Hello, chosen one. So I have a word for you that I got while I was flying to South Korea. So on the first part of our flight, we were flying into Canada and they gave us these cookies and the cookie said, congratulations on it. And I was like, wow, okay. And I had gotten two cookies. So I was like, okay, double, like, but congratulations. Okay. And I thought it was pretty cool because we were on our flight to a different country, right? We were leaving. For those that follow my ministry, you know that we had to move out of our home. We're no longer able to rent it. So I was like, awesome, you know, we're on this new adventure. Then as I was watching the show, it came across and it said, believe in the impossible. And we know that God does the impossible. So God is doing the impossible in your life. You are in a season of congratulations. like, And when I say that, meaning like, the thing that you've been praying for is here. The thing that you've been asking God for is here. The task you've been trying to complete is done. Like, congratulations, you made it. You've made it through the trials. You've made it through all these things. It's here. Then something else I had saw, it said, discover the adventure. God is taking some of us on the adventure of our lives. All he's wanting is your obedience. And all these things that you have hoped and dreamed and prayed for are at your doorstep. There's a lot of us that have been in a transition period. And there was another message I had saw and it said, a place to be free. This is your home. God is bringing you into your land flowing with milk and honey. God is bringing you into a place of freedom. God is setting the captives free mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. He's bringing you into a new place. Then as we were walking through um, South Korea, now I don't listen to all the secular music and whatnot, but the song, the congratulations song was playing out of one of the stores, right? Now they always say congratulations. You did it. Congratulations. You have a right. Be in expectancy. Be in expectancy of the things that God is about to do. Don't listen to the enemy's lies. Do not listen to the enemy's lies. And I can say that because the enemy tried to come at me the first couple of days we were here. Don't listen to him. He's a liar. Congratulations. God bless you. As your sister in Christ, I love you. Shalom.